I remember watching my dad run the Glasgow Marathon and my brother and I loved to cheer him on. Dad would always give us his medals after his races and we just felt so proud to wear them. My dad taught me to tie my shoelaces and bunny ears. He always had a way of making any wee thing fun. I really love the calmness that you get from running. One of my absolute favourite runs is in Central Park around the reservoir and sometimes it reminds me of a run that I used to take with Dad around the lake in Strathclyde Park back in Glasgow. When I first moved to New York I really missed my family and the Glasgow humour. Mum and Dad used to visit me a lot and they would fill their suitcase full of treats and biscuits and of course my favourite iron brew. It was hard to see Dad not well. Dad was always the active one, the fun one, the spontaneous one, the take charge one, and he was the one that looked after all of us. Dad's diagnosis uh, changed everything, and yet it didn't change Dad. He was determined to continue, and so were we all. I was so proud to run beside Dad that day and when we finished I was able to give him the medal from my first New York City Marathon and put it round him just the way he used to put his medals on me when I was younger. Dad deserved a medal that day. He wanted so much to give back to the city that had given him the time to be together with his family. You know, despite what Dad had been through, he was one of the first people up to the hospital to meet his new grandsons. He was just so proud to meet them. Now when I finish a race, I love giving my sons the medal, just like Dad used to do when I was younger. I'm teaching my youngest son how to tie his shoelaces now and making it fun, just exactly how Dad would have done. I met Pat in, at the Glasgow Battleland in 1970 and the thing that attracted me most to Pat from the beginning was that he made me laugh. Pat was the eldest boy in a family of nine children so he was really a caring person. Pat's journey with cancer was one we took together as a family. Uh, we found that the best treatment was in New York and he got excellent treatment there and after a year um, the treatment was successful and he was given a clean bill of health. Our time in New York it um, allowed us to celebrate our 40th wedding anniversary and also to be there for the birth of two grandsons. Pat was the kind of person that um, he always wanted to help others so even though he was in the middle of his own treatment in New York um, he managed to uh, do a 5k run in Central Park with Lynn um, which was raising money for cancer. Once we came back to Glasgow we slowly settled into a, a routine um, but then unfortunately his cancer did come back. The doctor recommended that Pat should go into the hospice um, but my first reaction was that no, I wanted to bring him back home so that we could all be together as a family. But um, once he was in the hospice, I soon realised that it was the best place for him. What the hospice gave us was a real gift of time to be together. The nurses were so kind to my dad and they extended that kindness to our whole family, which meant the world to us. It was the little things that meant so much to us, like bringing us tea and toast in the middle of the night so that we could just hold Dad's hand and be with him. And that was exactly how Dad wanted it to be, just surrounded by his family that loved him. Um, the staff at the hospice um, cared for Pat with dignity and respect and we really can't thank them enough.
The Prince and Princess of Wales Hospice currently cares for 1,200 new patients and offers support to their families, just like the Bradleys from the Greater Glasgow area, every single year. We offer patient-centred, compassionate end-of-life palliative care and provide a haven of comfort, support and understanding that allows families to focus on spending crucial moments together. Right now, we're building a brand new hospice in the centre of Glasgow that will meet the demands of 21st century palliative care, allowing us to support people in their deepest time of need and expand on our existing range of specialist services. For some people, it may not be possible to add days to their lives, but together, we most certainly can add life to their last days. Thank you.